So I'd like to thank you all for coming today. I'm going to tell you about a technology that is revolutionary, uh, revolutionizing biology and offers the potential to cure uh, human genetic disease. So this story really starts with DNA. You probably know that DNA is the code of life that gives cells the ability to function, gives organisms the ability to develop, but when there are mutations in that code, um, it can also give rise to disease. And we know a lot about the sequences of DNA in cells right now, but we, and we know about mutations, but up until now, it hasn't been possible to do much about those mutations. Imagine that we had a tool whereby we could actually fix individual mutations in DNA, much like you would do with a word processor to cut and paste and edit text. What if we had a text editor for DNA in cells? And it turns out that now we do, and this is a technology that came about through not a, not a focused uh, project, but actually through a curiosity-driven uh, set of research experiments that were done to understand how bacteria fight off a viral infection. So this is a, was an international collaboration between my lab at the University of California at Berkeley and uh, the, the lab of Emmanuel Charpentier, who's, who uh, at the time was doing this research in Sweden at Umea University, that's the team. And uh, we worked together to um, figure out how bacteria employ an, an enzyme, a protein called Cas9, that turns out to be a programmable protein. This is a protein that in nature is programmed by two separate molecules of RNA, one of which provides sequence information that allows this protein to recognize pieces of DNA that have a sequence matching the sequence of the RNA. And from that understanding, we were able to engineer this as a two-component system, a single protein and a single RNA that provides scientists with the ability to program this enzyme as a molecular scalpel to cut double-stranded DNA at sites that are directed by this piece of RNA. And once that happens, cells have ways of repairing double-stranded breaks by introducing small changes in the genome or sometimes whole new pieces of DNA that introduce new genetic information at the site of the break. So this is a precision tool that now allows uh, us to take this protein RNA complex and introduce it into cells or tissues to correct mutations at sites where we know there's a deleterious change in the genetic code. So I wanted to show you an example of how this can be utilized. This um, protein complex can actually be injected directly into fertilized eggs of a mouse. And in the experiment, you'll see we're targeting a gene that is responsible for the black coat color in mice. And so normally, these mice have beautiful, glossy black coats. And once we make this targeted change, we then implant these edited eggs back into a, a female mouse. And when she gives birth to pups, you'll see that the pups are now mostly white. And the remarkable thing about this experiment is that the, when these mouse, mice grow up, you can test them and show that every cell in the body has this single genetic change that gives rise to the white coat color, but otherwise they're absolutely normal. So they are normal mice, no mutations elsewhere in the genome. This is a type of experiment that used to take a, at least a year to create a, a mouse like this, and now it can be done in a few weeks um, and by people that don't have to have special expertise. So this is a, a technology has over the, it's been very exciting over the last two and a half years to see this technology taking off. These are publications in the scientific literature. It's been sort of exponential growth of publications, people using this technology for all sorts of applications. And so uh, some of these include making changes, in, targeted genetic changes in plants, in uh, fungi, in uh, animals that are important agriculturally, in, in animals that are important to us as pets, um, and also for, in thinking about human health, also uh, to do things like make changes in stem cells, which are cells that can give rise to new organs. Uh, also to make changes in animals that are important as uh, models of human disease, such as mice and monkeys. And we think within the not too distant future, it will be possible to actually use this technology to make changes in humans so that we can actually 
cure diseases that have genetic uh, causes like cystic fibrosis um, and other uh, such disorders. Thank you.